All right. Hello, hello everyone. This is going to be a pick a pumpkin, pick a pile for your message. Uh, I will timestamp in the comments. That is how I do my pick a messages. Um, so in the comments, if you want to jump to a different pumpkin than the first one we are uh, starting with, uh, check that uh, comment section. Once again, thank you all so very much. If I do see any energies, dates, times, names, I will bring it forth. If it doesn't resonate for you, let it be. It could be for someone else because this is a general message as well as timeless. I am doing it on 1018. Uh, so we just had a beautiful full moon in Aries. So anyone who is tuning into this, if you have not watched that full moon in Aries, one of them at least um, maybe there's something very beautiful there for you okay so these are a mystery as well so a little scorpionic this is what i also enjoy doing i do not know what is what cards um they are all a mystery i will unveil them and read the story all right uh, got the Palo Santos going. This is the completion for me personally of the October's messages. Uh, before we move into Scorpio season, however, like I said, this is timeless whenever you do get it. I actually did get a few names and dates and times. Um, zodiac signs, whether they're for you or not, doesn't really matter, but I'm sure it's still going to share it. Um, Libra energy, of course, we are still in Libra season. I also saw 926 in particular, uh, Virgo 2, 921 and 922. Um, there could be some grandfather energy or even mother or grandmother because I was getting Nana, Nana, Nana. I'm also getting Sierra, Sienna uh, and Phoenix. So whether this is a Phoenix rising or Phoenix, Arizona and this little cactus spotlighted too. So um, in the background, I have this little cactus here, Moo Kate Jasper, for uh, aging gracefully. <clears throat> so working with that. Um, let's see. So first, let me show you your options, your choices here. Let me double check the camera. So uh, we have a purple little pumpkin here. This is going to be pile number one with the purple pumpkin. Okay, so pick your pumpkin, pumpkin. Um, and then we got pile number two with the big orange pumpkin sparkly this one has some extra little sparkles on it that's pile number two and then pile number three is gonna be this beautiful green pumpkin this little green pumpkin okay all right before i begin <clears throat> uh wow beautiful beautiful music um i i'm gonna share some of the music something about the shamanistic drumming as well um and uh stuff like that so it's kind of interesting but uh, the song is actually by Monsters and Men, and it's Crystals. And it talks about, uh, you know, covering your crystal eyes and let your colors blend with mine. Okay, everyone, thank you all so very much. I'm really excited to do this one. And uh, by chance, if you happen to be a Scorpio, your birthday messages will be coming up soon once we get into that Scorpio season in a few days and that's why i've been doing it for all for this year of 2024 giving all of the different zodiac signs personal messages and unveiling new tarot and oracles so a lot of these oracles and tarots were unveiled during the uh, libra's birthday season i did throw in a little bit of unicorn magic in there too uh, but it's pretty much a lot of the cards that were unveiled during uh october's messages okay I want to get my little snow globe, the Eclipse snow globe. This has been a very powerful month, I believe, for healing relationships and releasing them that no longer go uh, or no longer go, that no longer serve you, but also like keeping your, your relationships in balance uh, so that it's not so, hmm, either you're not overly people pleasing and uh, codependent as well as not so arrogant that you refuse to work with others. Uh, that's kind of been what's been spotlighted, okay? And like I said, I have no clue. I'm going to set these ones off to the side. So number two, once again, is the orange. And if you want to jump to that, check the comments. That's where I timestamp. And number three is the green pumpkin. And we'll set these off to the side. And we will begin now with number one at 440. 
Wow, let's start at 444, actually, for the purple pumpkin pile number one. Let's begin. I, I, I haven't decided. I think I'm just going to flip it over and see. Now, I do have tarot in these, so um, it depends on how I see. Sometimes I will read reversals, and I will see it the other direction, especially, wow, we have the future. Okay, the veil. Okay, so this is could definitely be during this time of uh, the season of... Uh, uh, October 31st, 30, 31st, so uh, to November 2nd, so Scorpio energy, but this deck also by Stacey DeMarco here, the Halloween Oracle does talk about um, October or, or Halloween energy uh, at any time, so this is looking into the future, unveiling things, the veil is thin during this time, so maybe there is even the sense of covering your eyes. So when I've talked about different things with um, uh, commun um, connecting, so there was a song, Pure Imagination, right? Um, Gene Wilder, but I was actually getting the, uh, uh, the Primus version, okay? The fungi experience. So the veil is being lifted. Let's see what the rest of these are. Wow, Lakshmi. And good fortune and dharma is what we see in the future coming for all of your good works. Uh, Lakshmi here. Wow. Okay, so a lot of different signs did get this. If it's reiterating different things. Oh, I do see Hierophant, though, in reverse here. Taurus energy. Okay, you could be dealing with Taurus. Uh, this is about your wealth and abundance and your values. Um, I don't usually read these in reversal, but I am just going to set them out. I do have some angel numbers coming forth for you. Two, two, two. No way. Seeing two, two, two. I see 75 here too. So seven, five, there could be cancering, cancer energy, or <clears throat> these can be ages, birth years. Um, you take it how it resonates for you. Look at that Hierophant is Taurus energy too. How interesting. Okay, let me double check. I gotta move the camera just a tad so I can unveil these. You guys are, this is the first one. This is all new to me, right? As well, these cards I have been working with this whole month. Um, Wow, so maybe someone isn't sure about their beliefs um, with the Taurus energy coming in reverse. This is about financial, right? So we think of the Taurus energy is the earth energy, right? Uh, about what you believe, how you make your money. It's about money and earthly things. And also understanding, because I see this Hierophant in reverse right here, maybe there is um, uh, changes in that. Someone could have broken a commitment or a vow, uh, you could be dealing with a Taurus in particular, right? And you're feeling this way. You could be a Cancer sign. It doesn't really matter. This is also about partnerships. Someone could be 75 or born in 75. Maybe this is also a guide to watch the second video. If you do feel guided, you can watch all of them and take it how it resonates, right? Um, but, but, you know, they, and a lot of times when I do these pick a card or pick a pile, sometimes they do flow together. But we will see. <laughs> okay. So, and 101. Wow. So maybe even uh, Capricorn energy or New Year's Day. Uh, that's how I'm going to say it. Or we're at a beginning stage. We're at a, the beginning stage. Like, you know, class 101 level. So first, for your uh, angel numbers here is alignment. Getting into alignment. Maybe you're seeing this angel number. Connections, friendships, romantic relationships even family ties, balance, life choices, compromise, commitment, and trust. How do you move forward towards your life's true calling? Do what makes you happy. Ah, your enthusiasm is what keeps you going. Follow your interest if it's piqued by something. Following these routes will help you discover your life's purpose. So this could even be that someone is having some sense of awakening. Maybe there was certain spiritual beliefs at one point that you were following or that were kind of being indoctrinated into your life by your upbringing, your ancestors, because, you know, that's what they felt was right. Maybe someone's starting to actually question these types of things. Maybe someone is actually starting to not believe in anything. This could, or um, they don't feel, maybe there's a relationship with money or you're dealing with a Taurus person. This could also be a little Piscean or three different Tauruses. This could be dealing with your partnership. So we have starting over, chariot in reverse. Wow, so I'm pulling that Cancer energy and Taurus. 
uh, popping with this one. If that's not your signs, you, you could also just reflect it on the energy of the zodiac uh, and how it affects your chart, right? So uh, 101 starting over. Uh, intelligence, dynamics, making a difference, failures, personal or spiritual development, development. So even seeing like through your failures, you learn, right? Um, I always get like, uh, will is it meet the Robinsons and, and, uh, you know, uh, this always comes to mind. It's a really uplifting show, you know, and he's like a scientist or trying things and he fails at something and they actually are like, congratulations. And he's like, what? He feels like a failure, but they're like, no, but you learned, you learned from that. And we look at all these successful people in the world. So like Walt Disney is popping in my head for a second. All these different people who uh, tried and failed and tried and failed at something. But this is also about perseverance and not to give up. Happiness is linked to self-expression, growth, and experience. I was also getting something regarding Dolores Cannon. Okay. Um, I was getting Doreen. So D names as well. Um, how crazy. Huh. Um, Pam. Pammy. Um, Pamela. Hmm. Ken. Um, what else? Hmm. I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay, so happiness is real. Learning from failures is key here. Happiness is real, possible and around. I was, I had a beautiful song actually coming forth, okay? Um, <clears throat> and it was actually Bette Midler's The Rose. I wasn't listening to it, but I, I did a little walk before I came up to do this video. Um it was that, that song, The Rose, by Bette Midler. And I brought up also Ayla Schaefer. So Ayla. Uh, and she has a beautiful song, The Rose. Okay, so this is a bit of feminine energy, right? And so, you know, that Bette Midler song. Some say rose, or some say love. It is a river. Maybe someone is named Rose even, right? The Roses, uh, whatever. Um, Venus energy because Taurus also is the ruler of Venus and we have good karma and Dharma with this okay so this is beautiful I do have this uh, chariot in reverse so something got stopped maybe this is a pause as well you know so this could be a sense that someone felt like they were failing at something they stopped working towards something because they weren't and maybe that's okay maybe it was just realizing that it wasn't your your cup of tea, you know, um, maybe you reach a finale of it. Um, and there is something to be learned. And the reason I bring up Dolores Cannon, cause, uh, her channel doesn't pop up so much for me because, uh, but it did. And it said, um, she actually, when I first was watching her, it really reminded me of my grandmother. She just kind of looked like that a little bit. Um, so I was getting a bit of Pisces energy. Someone could be 32 or 36 or three, two, three, six. Um, However, uh, what, what, where was I going with this? See this grandma forgetting a little bit. <laughs> What's up, pumpkin? Okay. Um, and it's okay. Um, but it was saying that life is about learning and go out and learn. And then we, when we do, you know, transition from this earth, we go and we give all that wisdom, you know, uh, to the source energy. Um, and you know, whatever is your creative venture, there's so much potential. But if it's something that you really love, you know, maybe someone's been kind of putting you down about something or someone's feeling like a failure. Maybe it has to do with uh, this uh, fortune or abundance. It's really asking you what you feel like uh, abundance means to you. It's not always about riches and wealth, but with the Taurus energy, they would feel maybe that that uh, maybe a lack in finances is an, uh, showing some uh, lack in themselves. Okay, um, but there is good fortune, abundance, uh, and dharma. Not karma. This is dharma for the the seed you planted. So keep going on whatever it is, or if it's time to switch it up and try something new, you know. Um, I think that that's something with understanding seeking and and you know um 
what what fills your heart with joy because that's what it says follow these things right what interests you right and i want to share for me personally uh, when i first started doing when i felt guided to quantum healing hypnosis um i i know like i had this overwhelming see this is where the tears of joy and bliss and feeling the spirit i guess and one of the first of the ascended masters that came through and started working with me was kuan yin um about compassion and love um i know a bit about lakshmi but she is a fortune teller you know this is a hindu goddess um I've shared my personal beliefs with certain things regarding different religions. Um, there's certain ones that I will respect. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't worship them. I often see them as elders or mentors uh, in a sense of uh, getting guidance and wisdom. Okay. Um, wow. So how interesting. So there's this big, maybe it's going back to the beginning and there's a, a fresh start here with something. This is about your spiritual development and personal growth, right? Happiness is real, possible and around. Understand its process and the pursuit of it. Oh, I'm getting like the pursuit of joy, pursuit of happiness. Is that a show that Will Smith was in? The pursuit of happiness. Maybe there's something there uh, in that movie for you. It's a good show. Joy is fluid, right? So fluid means that it's uh, it moves. Maybe you got to seek it out sometimes. It's in these little things and the big ones. Fails are fun. Start fresh. Okay, so we have someone getting stopping in their tracks. There is this stagnant energy that I'm really seeing here. I'm going to set the tarot. We, uh, wow. Okay, so maybe someone stopped receiving or stopped believing even. Don't stop thinking about tomorrow. Don't stop. It'll soon be here. It'll be better than before. Yesterday's gone. Yesterday's gone. Ooh, I see that there was maybe you could have had someone doing some little stalking and gossiping and spying. Uh, that was maybe throwing some hatred at you that made you question it even. Uh, this is also, I'm seeing someone having strength and willpower here. Maybe to hold themselves back. <coughs> Ooh, yeah, I see. <coughs> I'm just saying as somebody, because we do have the page of claws in reverse. So I see that as someone watching, stalking, and actually hoping for your downfall. And take it how it resonates, guys. Maybe it is a Taurus person that you're dealing with or a Cancer sign. Or this is you, because I see Taurus flipped upside down here. And um, these are also your spirit, spirit allies. So I am going to read out of the book with this one. Um, maybe this is about, this is a change in your belief system because Taurus represents what you believe, uh, you know, where you're willing to spend your money, how you make your money. This is also about like higher font energy. So, so being, maybe someone just doesn't know anymore what to believe in. Hmm, I'm getting like, Poison and Brett Michaels is that his name? Uh, and give me something to believe in, yeah. If there's a Lord above, all right. Uh, this is giving me some little bit of teary's, okay. Here, teary's, uh, the deer. Oh, so someone is having the strength maybe to hold themselves back or feeling very strong. Maybe there was a needing to. This is a s stopping. For a minute and what you're doing really reflecting we have uh 78 now seven eight so hello cancer signs or tauruses or someone's born in 78 that's how it works for me i also see 62 so there could be a bit of gemini um three different tauruses a lot of taurus some of you and and then this capricorn or even aries energy i'm gonna find out so whatever this is maybe they're th this is someone a hater you know you could have someone doing some stuff and you're feeling maybe even psychically attacked or maybe they've said something this is gossip and slander though this is not real okay now i, I might read these the, the reversals however i i mean hmm let's see i'm gonna move this back so that the camera can see it all 
Guys, if you knew how I filmed this, you would laugh your asses off. <laughs> oh, I am like MacGyver at this. I utilize whatever I got, right? Um, <laughs> and I've been doing it the whole time. And I'm like, yeah, uh, I could, I could upgrade, but I don't feel a necessity to at this point. All right, I do have the inspiration from Charlie Brown. We have the best friend, Marcy, here. Ooh, okay, I've got to remember to bring this one. Every time I see her looking, reading this book, maybe you have a new book or you're reading some knowledge. Maybe that's the whole thing. There's a pause because it's like starting over with something. Something about the snacks, right? The Beagle Scouts. Uh, these don't read reversals at all. And maybe that it has something to do with that. Do you realize we're about to set a, set a record? Hmm. Hmm. I might, to pull clarification for this, sprinkle a couple of my little, uh, my little tiny mini cards on it, okay? They could just be making fun of your belief system because they're in a, they believe something different. Hmm. Okay. Um, this is Snoopy, right? And Woodstock, and they're all going out. This is a new adventure. That's truly what it is. It's a new opportunities opening up and, uh, Maybe that's the whole thing is that you're about to set a record. Don't forget the snacks. <laughs> Don't forget your snacks. Okay. Um, I'm going to put this over here. So Marcy as well over there. Uh, there's this book that I have. And the reason it is because it has a yellow cover. And I keep thinking how I need to remember to bring this in. And it is called How Not to Be a Dick. Okay? <laughs> the etiquette of not being a dick. Marcy's the best friend of Peppermint Patty, right? Even calls Peppermint Sir. Hmm. This is a good friend. Uh, they have a lot of wisdom, knowledge, gathering information. Okay, these are the, I told you, we're getting some of the Peanuts Gang inspiration cards coming through. I use these with the Libra's energy. Maybe this is something in the future. Okay, now we're, I'm going to get clarification actually with these. So I, I see that someone got stopped, okay? Um, the higher font in reverse here. And I brought this up that this is either no longer believing in something or they've actually broken a vow or a contract, a commitment, um, and with the chariot in reverse, this could definitely be with this uh, Cancer Taurus um, energy, uh, cusp energy. I'm like, is Cancer Taurus? No, it's Cancer Leo. Oh, Taurus Gemini. Hmm. But there's an inner linking. You could have this both in your chart. Maybe someone got pulled over. Okay. This could be that they... they uh, because I have the chariot in reverse, they've gotten stopped for, so if you're dealing with this person, and this may be the person who's causing uh, some chaos in your life, depends on who you are, and you're having the strength to hold yourself back, um, because a lot of times, maybe they're just like, something's happened in their life, and they don't believe, they can literally be an atheist, okay, uh, or they've broken a contract, or a vow, or something, with I see this in reverse, with chariot in reverse, They've been stopped for do, doing something <clears throat> that they weren't, uh, you know, on the down low. And this could be in worldly affairs where they were drinking and driving, okay? Or they, you know what I mean? Like, uh, and uh, that's just thing. That's against the law. It's danger to all. That's just an example. This can also be someone from a churchy group or something. This hierophant in reverse. Ooh, the devil in reverse. Okay. Yeah, they yeah, could have definitely had something, a lesson to be learned regarding these types of things. Um, someone needs to have the willpower to hold themselves back from, um, or even holding someone, stopping someone from doing, making huge mistakes in their life that can harm them and, their, and themselves. So learning lessons, right? These are some tough lessons though. Once again, 75 being spotlighted. Okay, um, so I'm going to set this higher font uh, here. Maybe they just don't believe in the Hindu stuff. And I understand that, you know, the thing is I still believe in a higher source regardless of uh, a, an actual, 
denomination religious belief, okay? This could even be dealing with Christianity, the Pope, the priest, whatever. It's a rule. Uh, it could be dealing with legality, someone who makes laws. They've broken laws. Uh, I do see the doubt. Someone's having strength to even, this could be overcoming uh, tox intoxications or fear of the devil because sometimes these people can actually be very binding um, uh, people don't realize that extremism in religious beliefs uh, are toxic and controlling I was kind of honestly I was I, I, in my channel I talk about it all and this might affect or trigger certain people I might offend because they believe in it or something like that but um, for me it's always been about giving free will God gave us free will Okay, so when you're trying to dominate and control with fear, and there was a horrible book, a horrible book, and this is what's popping in my head, um, the Mike and Debbie's How to Train a Child, where this is, I don't know, it's like that man proclaiming himself as a minister and godly, uh, this is actually someone who wants to control and dominate with fear, control women and control children, uh, violence, okay, um, and they use the Bible to uh, to justify. And I'm I, I, this actually was I popped in my head before I came up here. Someone having strength to overcome this fear of going to hell, you know, or fear. This is something toxic. This so the devil is also something that kind of controls us or binds us. And in reverse, I'm seeing breaking away from it. <clears throat> and so maybe this is them saying, you know. You're a non-believer in this or you're going to hell or you're working with the devil. You know, this could be this toxic person over here that thinks that they're higher, <laughs> you know, above. Or I can also have, a, a, you know, so this person who's been trying to control you with fear, this could be, you got to take it how it resonates, dealing with um, uh, drugs and addictions, uh, lust. Um, oh, I almost said, you know, a sex, sex addiction, but I don't see that in this at all. Um, they may even be saying things like that about you, but, um, someone's having strength overcoming and breaking free from this devil energy. Okay. Uh, that's good. And then we have, yeah, you reap what you sow. Ooh. So there is a karmic retribution. So this type of, a, uh, gossip. So this is completely slander. And gossip, smear campaigning. Um, there's nothing real with what, and and they're stalking you, and then they're gossiping, and and saying bad things about you. Ooh, it could have to do with the scouting. Okay, we can look at that. The Cub Scouts, uh, Boy Scouts of America. Uh huh. And the the evil things that are hidden under the veil of uh godliness okay but this is a time of receiving something maybe they're gossiping about what you're receiving or about uh, this is what you'll get okay wow okay i see 715 oh 515 again taurus one five capricorn uh six seven six seven twice yeah two four six seven so this person could be that age. It could be a Gemini person for some of you, or you could have that in your chart. I do see a King of Pentacles in reverse. Wow. So for some of you, this may, you are dealing with an earth sign who is this way. <clears throat> they may be a found out about, um, so if they're asking, you know, so with Hierophant, sometimes, and I've seen it before, people up there in ministry, this is definitely a masculine, okay, that thinks they're above uh, women and children and they want to dominate okay and maybe this is the whole thing of questioning these types of beliefs this person is also in a lack mentality and they're greedy they don't want to they may have received something and they're holding back they they have a very money mind so you know when people ask for donations for things that god will be generous if you donate to my ministry uh and stuff like that and then they're spending it on their own. Uh, oh, I'm getting this. Uh, it's the suicidal tendencies is the band, okay? And I know when you hear that. But, uh, and it says, uh, oh, 
send me your money. Send me your money. You know, and telling you that God will bless you. These are some fake, uh, fake healers or fake religious. Someone like Benny Han, Benny Hinn, uh, fake healers not real healers, okay? They're all about finance and money. They're very worldly. Uh, they're not really connected with higher source and spirit. Now, the Beagle Scouts did come in reverse. So maybe they don't want you to have this new adventure or try something else. Or this is even about failing at something and someone feels like a failure. This is a greedy person. This masculine energy. Now, whether it is an earth sign or not. Now, I've dealt... I've also dealt, I have to share this with my church group, this person betrayed you or they've been betrayed by members of their <clears throat> church or the law. Uh, they've broken spiritual laws. I literally, this was something that was kind of despicable uh, that I felt was uh, they always want to use scriptures. Oh, God loves a generous giver and whatever you put forth will come back to you. Uh, you know, and there is, a, there, there is truth in that. However, um, what I see with this is, my goodness, um, how do I, how to put this out? They're literally, there's manipulation, especially with older people. A lot of times congregations, you get a lot of elderly people, you know, the grandmas and the grandparents and that, that are there the ones who are going there. And literally I saw them telling people to change their will, uh, to put in that they were being promised some special place in heaven by giving, 10% or whatever to uh, their ministry when they passed in their will. And ironically, they forget the scripture that says the wise man saves for their grandchildren. Um, hmm. These are fake promises of buying a place in heaven. Uh, I get this stairway to heaven and uh, Led Zeppelin. Interesting enough. So either there's earth energy here. I don't, I mean, there could be Virgo. There's a lot of Taurus, Cancerian energy. I will say uh, Gemini, uh, with their Gemini readings, and this is even in partnership, um, that, that they were receiving good karma, good Dharma, the Dharma for the work they've done. And for me personally, I think that there is nothing wrong with being kind and generous, especially if God blesses you. Um, then it's what your heart feels guided to be helpful and kind. This person is selfish, okay? They're never going to be generous in giving in this stage. They've received something. They are very worldly and they're greedy. They may have quite a bit of finances and money, to be honest, but they're, they're in a hoarder mentality. Um, I see ten of swords there and judgment in reverse. Ooh, wow, yeah. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So ten of swords means this person has betrayed or been betrayed. Maybe you've been betrayed by people or you've broken the law. They're spending it on a car. They're buying new trips and they're traveling around, you know. Oh, uh in their fancy cars, their career, uh, I almost said career <laughs> criminal or career politician, but, um, their, their, their career, their finances are based on uh, whether or not you pay, uh, you donate to them. Ah, uh, so this is coming for, this is true. So this is over now. It, uh, it's over now. Alice in Chains. Da, 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 da. Uh, yeah, someone got stopped. Um, so it can be either way. So same thing. If someone is out intoxicated, oh, and they could have even gotten caught being intoxicated, driving. They've been stopped. They're a dick. They're a tyrant. Or it's made someone question that. And it's actually shown someone clearly that this is not godly. This is not love. This is earthly and all about the pentacles. Um, okay. And maybe these are very specific. 
I see five, six. Okay, there's also 10, 15. Wow, I tell you, every time that 10, 15 comes out, maybe this happened during that time, right? This is a timeless message though. Um, maybe even in, in May or even in July, you're getting this or something. In reverse, it shows that this is a completion. It, it's a finality. This happened in the past, potentially. And it's, and it's, it's being done. 510, 710. Okay. The devil's in reverse. Judgment. This person could actually have gone to jail. Spiritual jail. Or maybe this is having strength to hold yourself back from doing something stupid. They may be trying to get you to because they don't believe. So it can be either way that they really don't believe they could be very atheist in their beliefs. And maybe they're even like tempting the devil or uh, <laughs> oh, don't fuck with that. Okay. Okay. 2015, this could have happened. I also see 720 and 1020. So anyone who is doing watching these right now and 515 spotlighted again, <clears throat> um, Wow. So to me, judgment in reverse says no second chance. This person is not having a wake up call. They're very much stuck in their ego. Justice in re or judgment in reverse means I feel like um, regardless, either they, they could be literally going to jail for what they've done. Okay. Breaking. They broke laws in this world and spiritual laws. So if they've been doing some that, the, the gossiping, the talking, the slandering, this is someone who's been watching. Oh, wow. Okay, so those are the final messages from the tarot. Hopefully that makes sense. I mean, it's fa fairly clear. I will still also read uh, about the veil and into the future. Someone seeking to look into the future. They may call this, th this is evil to them. This is being, this is meaning you're receiving messages from demons. That's what they say. Um mm. It, or this is witchcraft, you know, or things like that. And there's pieces of the Bible that say these things, you know, that say certain things about this type of work, okay? Uh, this reading, the, you know, you guys watching this even, and me doing this and receiving this, even the shamanistic work. So um, ironically, Doreen Virtue, PhD, why this is so important to have this title behind you. Because uh, it makes her seem more knowledgeable, I guess. But I, I have to say that this deck of cards is so beautiful and uplifting. When she was filled with love energy instead of, uh, I think she's in a lot of fear, to be honest. I think she's forgotten there's fear of love. And she had fear. And I know exactly which scripture. I watched her for quite a while. And then I, I got to see that it doesn't really matter. It's attacking. There's a sense of attacking. She has some other mediums and people like that that uh, are following in her footsteps. And in fact, I stopped doing this altogether and was listening. And it got to the point that I couldn't listen to her anymore. Uh, that it was just... Like, I felt like she's trying to get some retribution. She's She's actually trying to, instead of... So with, with Jesus's promise that if you, you know, uh, you're saved by your faith and grace and not by your works even, or there, uh, but then you can read another scripture that says, oh, James says faith without works is dead. So it's, they're like, no, nothing, nothing in this contradicts itself. And I'm like, really, can I show you? So I also feel like a lot, some people were born and raised in certain things like this. So I, I'm sorry to have to bring up this stuff, but uh, this is what we're, we're dealing with with this, okay? This is about your belief system. And I, I've also learned a lot of people that for a long time, if they believe, and they're, they're, for example, with the Mormon and LDS teachings, when they find out all the truth about who Joseph Smith Jr. was, and they actually see the research, and they see how there was deception and lie, they were lied to. Um, it makes them completely become atheist person. Um, wow. Okay. So two uh, beautiful messages from the unicorns, three, four messages. Wow. You guys have a lot. And then the final one is the zombie and control. So imagine what would you see, feel, think, and hear if your wish came true? 
I always get uh, John Lennon and imagine all the people living in harmony, right? What would you see, feel, think, and hear if your wish came true? Look at the fairies coming in, giving the unicorn. This is magical, mystical, you know? There's this castle here. Hmm. I'm going to cover these up with these unicorns. Okay, so there's their tarot messages. I don't know who this was. Maybe let's see. I'm going to get, uh, it could be a different people. It could be a group of people. It could be the whole, uh, you know, uh, congregation or family life. Here's a couple of these, especially for this. Uh, you had judgment in reverse. And then I'm going to get a couple over here and sprinkle them on for further clarification guidance. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, I see four swords. So this is about doing healing and resting. And this person needs healing. Um, they need to heal. That's why someone's been stopped. Um, they have to rest and heal. They got could have got, literally got arrested. You got the four swords here. Right? And um, I'm going to set this up here by Lakshmi. And like I said, I... I I am not a full-on Hindu belief, believer, and there is a lot of talk about that these are demons. I'm, I'm just telling you, I'm just being straight, okay? Uh, we have Queen of Pentacles, so you could be a, a Queen of Pentacles, uh, a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Feminine. I do keep masculine and feminine, uh, you know, in there, or excuse me, but female, male, okay, genders specific. If you need to swap it around, um then go ahead and do that. But I see a lot of it with the masculine person or the 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 male figure being very domineering, right? The, the men are supposed to rule over the women and the children. And uh, they feel that they are better than... <laughs> oh, man. See, and that's part of breaking away from... Uh, the this is there's no equality there with that right they i uh, feel like they can control and dominate with fear or violence even um and and even in uh, these scriptures and, and i'm sorry if you guys don't want to hear about it but it's a, you need to understand there's this uh, he, joseph smith jr told his wife emma smith and it's in their book that uh, if she did not allow for polygamy, she would go to hell. And ironically, it's because she she found out he was actually uh, having uh, cheating with uh, the handmaid or this 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 person. Uh, and I'm not going to bring it all up, but that's what it was. He just wanted his cake and eat it too. And because in the Old Testament it talks about all these other kings saying, and women in, in the old days were like property and they weren't uh, respected as actual human beings who had brains. Uh, <laughs> and they were just seen as sex objects and fucking slaves and handmaid's tale. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, that's how I see it. So it could also be that you have a feminine person that is a Taurus Capricorn Virgo that is doing the stalking and spying, okay? Uh, judgment coming down, though. Let's see. Or you could be this person. I'm saying you reap what you sow, right? And they're receiving something. Oh, yeah. This is about finances. They've been juggling. They're, they're all about their money. Three of Wands. They've been waiting for this. This is about patience, but it, it's coming in. This is, it's coming in. Maybe they're mad at their talk. They're 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 gossiping or they're slandering someone. Wow, yeah, more pentacles. They've been hold. They're greedy. Maybe someone's been holding out, holding someone's money. Twenty four, twenty three. Okay. This judgment card is once again about collaboration, creativity, working with others. So this person's being removed so that this is someone maybe you worked with even or you were created you were creative with. I also see <clears throat> three of cups. Wow, we have 33 and 33. Having strength. I'm seeing uh, I'm I'm actually seeing that there is going to be a reconciliation with this person 
uh, working for your creative abilities. Maybe for some of you, you're working the justice system even, and you've got to have strength to hold yourself back from doing certain things, or you have to hold, you know, <laughs> you have to keep things to yourself. This Taurus person could have went to jail quite a bit, or vice versa, or uh, Leo even. Um, I'm not seeing so much Leo, but we have someone having strength. Then you've got five of wands. Yeah, hold yourself back. They're trying to actually cause you to uh, get in trouble physically. Understand, if you put your hand on anyone, okay, or, or you use a weapon, you've broken laws. And I know that this person's broken laws. And yet they're out there free thinking that they're, maybe their judgment will finally come down on them. Um, I see five of wands in reverse, 35 and 33. Someone could be 33 or 35. This could be dealing with Pisces energy. Five of wands in reverse is holding yourself back. They could be trying to get you to hit them, literally. So assault, battery. They could have went to jail for this. So, um, wow, I see king of cups here too. So someone being compassionate and loving trying to be now now it could be that a cancer sign was um uh, maybe trying to do this i've dealt with a lot of weirdos like this okay three of swords yeah we got three 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 here with this too i also see three of swords so this is heartbreaking this could have been a third party person trying to cause chaos in your life 53 and 333 and then we've got the two of wands Right, they could have even been. This is action. This is maybe. Uh, this is someone who would. Maybe you felt like you were about to do something, but you're holding. You're having the willpower to hold yourself back. Okay, um, was that all that I sprinkled? Oh yeah, we got this on this King of Pentacles. Let's see what we got here with him. Six of Wands. Okay, he wants to be victorious, or you will be victorious. Uh, this would be about an ego battle, too, starting over. Ooh, seven of swords in reverse. Wow. Yeah, so you're going to be over, you're going to overcome uh, this person. They could have actually stolen from you. You're going to find out about thieving, lying, greed. Six, seven. Hmm. You could be a Gemini uh, or someone could be 67 years old. Uh, or born in 67 or something like this. Okay, I'm going to move these up here. I'm actually going to put them back now. Um, these ones are mixed though, so I'm going to set them up here. You're going to it's like you're going to reap what they or they're going to reap what they've sown, right? And they have been stalking and gossiping. Um, and a lot of times that's a thing, churchy people, I'm just going to say it. Churchy people they may not drink or drug or party or something like that, but you know what their you know what their biggest sin is? Gossip and slander and uh talking shit because they think they're better than others. Wow. So how not to be a dick, Marcy? So how to do this? Imagine how it will feel to have this abundance in your life. And this is also asking you about this, uh, what is abundance to you? The spirit ally, Lakshmi. We have exercise. Run, walk, swim, or otherwise move your body. This will give you more energy and happiness. Gaining your strength, making you feel strong. So a lot of times, so you've got to burn through that Mars energy, okay? If they're trying to set you off, they're trying to poke at you, and they're pissing you off, and they're trying to get you to be the violent one, um, I will tell you, you know what? The best thing you can do is uh, utilize. This is how I, this is my thought of transmuting often the energy. So they're throwing something at you, you know, some energetic thing. And you know what? You just get stronger. So go work it out, you know, go run, walk, exercise, do something to burn through the energy. And uh, there was certain people in my life. <clears throat> and so, <laughs> uh, you know, because I'm not I, to hold myself back from being stupid and going to jail. Uh, I, you know, go kickboxing. Go, you know, you can, even if you're like, there, there's some, there is something healing 
uh, about it. When you, you hold some type of an anger energy uh, towards, uh, it's a righteous anger, right? Um, but you get yourself stronger. You build up your muscles, your, your stamina, exercise. So I love this. So feeling good. Don't forget, like, use that to uh, work on yourself. All right? Exercise. This person probably doesn't, okay? Best friends. True friends stick together no matter what. So remember that. Best friends. Alignment, connection, friendship. How do you move forward? To your life's true callings. Do what makes you happy. That's what your best friend's going to do. Tell you. That's what they're going to give you the best advice. And they're going to be your supporter. So especially, you know, when you're, I uh, get this one about, you know, friends. What about your friends? TLC. You know, and it talks about how when you were down and out, where were they? Laughing, gossiping, talking shit. Maybe there these are people who when you were really, you know, um struggling with things, or they were always uh or they were very unsupportive. Hmm. And then practice. So dealing with even this King of Pentacles energy and starting over. Practice. The best way to be good at a skill is to practice, practice, practice until you get it right. So keep going. Oh, look, and I love that she's got look, she's with the you know, she's out here dancing. She's got her her stuff. So whatever the starting over with this new adventure, because that's what the Peanuts gang here with this uh, Cub Scouts thing is. Hmm. So even if you are this energy, if you're feeling, you know, if you're feeling in this lack mentality or greed sense or something, because I'm saying Taurus very much strongly here. Uh, I am going to read that. There's And, and having the self-control. The final Halloween card is control and zombie. Uh, so some people may... Uh, like a zombie is walking around brainless without any type of conscious decision and awareness. Okay? That's the final message. Oh, wow. 5149. See, these often go so long. <laughs> but... There was an important message to be delivered with this for sure. Okay, I'm just going to sprinkle these back in here. All these are going to get mixed up now. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to read the Taurus one, okay, uh, for your spirit allies. Maybe you do have a Taurus coming forth for you, okay? Multiple different Tauruses. Maybe there's one that's a an a-hole uh, or greedy, and then there's others that are not. Uh, three different Tauruses, potentially even. All right, this is 50. Seven, oh, wow, even though 705, right? And that is 750. They could be 50. Um, oh, it says, I am worthy. So this is about healing your relationship with money as well, okay? I am worthy of luxury. This is page 68. 68. Gemini is there with this too, uh, because Gemini is right afterwards, and I was getting like six, seven, and different stuff like that. They get vice versa. Taurus can be found lounging on the green velvet sofa, accompanied with a good book and a chunk of rich dark chocolate. No way. I totally saw the chocolate. <laughs> uh, okay. Special chocolate, though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Fully enjoying their favorite things is nothing to be ashamed of. And once all their tasks are complete, Taurus tries to enjoy the finer things in life as much as possible. There is stability in taking the time to slow down, break free from a fast-paced life. After all, the human experience is largely about being able to experience the world through the senses. Taurus is here to encourage you to indulge in your favorites, whether that's food, music, or movies. Your senses are tools that connect you with the rest of the world. Use this time to open yourself up to new things and adventures as well. Your journal prompt says, how can I cultivate more indulgent experiences? So visualization even, like I said, this is good karma, good fortune coming forth. 
All right, I'm gonna go to Marcy and the Peanuts gang real quick. Marcy, where's Marcy? Getting a good book, right? Uh, 21. Maybe someone is 21, maybe there is a little, maybe the 21st is important. The kindest in the bunch. Marcy reminds everyone of how sweet people really can be. An absolute brainiac. Marcy's always around to set the curve when she's not cheering up people. That's why it's so interesting. I'm seriously. And uh, maybe whenever you're getting this, uh, in the November's messages, I'm going to pull in this book, uh, How Not to Be a Dick. Like, that's what she's, uh, that's what I think of with, because the book literally is this yellow color. Um, <clears throat> and etiquette. And it even says, like, she's the kindest in the bunch. Okay. Marcy's always around to set the curve when she's not cheering people up. So she's like, hey, everyone has, is going through things, right? Marcy reminds us of all the good we have inside us, how we can enjoy inventing, being nice, and cheering up others. She has nothing but respect for her pals, especially for her best friend, Peppermint Patty, or Sir, as Marcy likes to call her. We can always count on her to teach us how to help others by stating the facts as they are and delivering them with kindness. From her iconic glasses to sweet tone, we should all aim to be a little more like Marcy. Right, a little more like Marcy. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so I want to see Zombie Control, I believe, is the very final one of this Halloween Oracle. It is 72 and 73. The dead arise, voice, uh, voices are mumbling. After our brains, our screams, they are tumbling. Zombies have become quite the fashion recently, much like vampires. Turn on the television and you can't escape the moaning and groaning of these, the living dead. And yes, they do seem to be after your brains. <laughs> They're looking for your brains. Brains, and Marcy's the brainiac. <laughs> There are even public zombie walks where people dress up as zombies and appear in masses on roads and in cities. And maybe if you're getting this during Halloween season, you're going to participate in something like this even, you know, um, or this gives you some clarification and guidance. Maybe they're even saying someone is stupid. I don't know. Or they have no brains or uh, they're very cruel. Whoever this person is. Hmm. Okay, but zombies are not merely f a fun icon of popular culture. Traditionally, they're mainly associated with African and Haitian voodoo regions. Oh, zombies are said to be dead bodies reanim reanimated by incantations chanted by a learned practitioner hmm. called a boker. And they usually enlivened for a purpose. The practitioner is said to capture part of a living soul to animate the body. And that it is always a temporary action as the soul cannot be contained in that decomposing body for long. Or God will take the soul back. One of the most frightening aspects of the idea of zombieism is the idea of our souls and our consciousness being trapped inside a body that does not do our bidding, but someone else's. Ah. Another is the idea of being buried alive. The fate of some, it is said, who get trapped in already dead bodies. Wow. Should the zombie step unsteadily into your life, it's time to look at the concept of control. Do you want to control everything, living, leaving little to free expression? Do you choose partners who are not your equal so that you are more easily, so they are more easily manipulated and changed to your liking? Or do you allow that to happen to you? If you're not living your most authentic life, it's time to look at why and how to change that. Wow. And then we had the veil. So these two cards. So this was what sandwiched in between, you see? Um, and I could have unveiled them the different way, but that's okay. Um, let's see. Let's go to the veil. So the beginning was looking into the future and then questioning, uh, are you, you know, maybe they're very demeaning. You just, maybe this relationship is very earth, earthly or earthbound. Hmm. 
the veil. These are alphabetical order, yeah. Okay. 66. The future. There is a misty curtain that divides us all. The veil that ha this night thins. Transparent, the weave becomes and the future no longer dims. The ancient Celts used to call this time of the longest night of the year, Samhain, Sowen, Samhain, Samhain. I always say it wrong. I say lots of things wrong. <laughs> and that's okay. Uh, that, oftentimes, I actually like listening to an audio book. And so then I can hear. Some people are, uh, we, we learn differently. Some people learn are very visual. Some people are auditory, you know. Um, or both, or they need to write it down. Um, so sometimes I actually enjoy listening to the audio book or listening because then I can hear the pronunciation. Um, doesn't mean I always say it right, but, but, um, you know, maybe that's the whole thing. Someone's making fun of just you miss mispronouncing something because they think they are, and that's the only thing they have. Wow. So for some of you, it may, it may be someone who's pretending to be your best friend or they like, oh, you're my best friend, best friend. But underneath it, they're actually talking shit. Hmm. So, so careful with that. That's a reminder that they're not your friend. If they're gossiping behind your back and actually slandering your name and making fun of you. Ha ha. So funny. Huh? Not so funny anymore, is it? When it comes around, they will know someday. All right. <clears throat> they believe that there was a misty veil that separated the world of the dead and the living. But on two nights of the year, Samhain and Beltane, the shortest night, the veil would be thin. The fineness, or fin the fineness of the veil meant the ancestors were closer than ever and even the gods would be close. This would mean that communication from the dead were more likely to occur and that divination, where the divine speaks through something, would be more effective. So while using this oracle as the veil lifts, know that the other worlds are close. Listen to, in particular, to what messages may come forth around your future. Look to what you want to happen. Plan, set intentions, and think big. All right? And where I've set Marcy here... See, and Misty, I kept saying, someone could be named Misty, okay, coming through, this could be you or them, and if I give any names, it could be you or them, and if it's not not for you, then let it be, middle names, first names, last names, places, uh, city names, street names, whatever, all right, it looks as though, I think with this, I'm not going to read Lakshmi, um, I've, it's, well, maybe, maybe just a quick little reminder about fortune, and what you under, what you believe maybe you are a fortune teller and they they definitely don't believe in you or this person doesn't believe in this type of work right um 721 spotlighted again <laughs> 73 and 21 someone could be 21 even uh you or them abundance can be found everywhere in life right Journal prompt says, when was the last time I expressed true gratitude? Maybe this person never shows gratitude. They never say thank you. Uh, there And that's the whole thing. Why? Oh, that's that, That's how you flip this upright. Hmm. Ah, oh, that's what they're doing. They're greedy, not grateful. Hmm. Wow. So hold yourself back, right, from doing anything because they're they're trying to actually trigger you to actually do something else to break the law, okay? And if you're a spiritual person, they could be triggering you to try and do dark magic, okay? Because we know how to... If you have that, you understand. Maybe they were someone, a dark practitioner because they brought up voodoo, okay, and Haitian stuff. And the poppets, you understand? Um, and there, there's a sense of trying to do something like this. But uh, you reap what you sow. This is a lesson. Life is about learning lessons. And uh, 
if you are a soul who has reincarnated a lot of times, then you will understand light is more powerful than darkness. Light penetrates the darkness. You should not be afraid of it, but you can sense it. And I almost see that as them, you know, with this gossip person, this uh, monitoring, uh, slandering, making fun of. And sometimes it's from a uh, family uh, and <laughs> or uh, in-laws, okay? Uh, I, yeah, and I, I can look at this and see how this resonates with me in my uh, in my life and times when I was really, you know, doing things to really better my health and fitness and, and helping others um, and getting, get, you got to move through the energy, right? And uh, they would they would be passive aggressively being like, for example, I'd be like, "Wow, do you?" Want? I'd actually want to incorporate it with them. My sister in laws. I'll, I'm just gonna be honest. I'm I share this because I went through these things with people that should have been there and supportive, and they've had plenty of time to break the ice and know who I am. And and I'm done now. That's why it's the ten of swords. It's like, yeah, not coming back in. They're not going to change their belief system. And that's fine that if it feels good for them, but um, I am no longer going to be their freaking pin cushion, if you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> and um, and I'm also not going to do anything evil or wicked to try and get back to them, get back at them. Other than I don't want I, I see through their fake love, but they would be, um, uh, you know, here's an example. Like I'd be like, oh, hey, do you want to do this workout with me or and. And I'd have one of them, the younger, a younger one, be like, oh, I think that that's just a little too, that's too novice for me. And then I'd be like, okay. Or I'd be like, do you want to try this protein shake or the, whatever? Or you want to try this? And they'd be like, oh, no. Uh -uh. And they're heavy and overweight. And I'm like, I'm trying to help you out. This isn't like you know, to feel good, to feel healthy. It's a support system. And I, I learned quickly that they were not my friends and they never will be. And as I've, I've, I've blocked them continuously, they still uh, try and come in with fake love uh, and act like they're so, oh. Uh, but I also can sense when they, they make fun of this. They make fun of all of this. Ooh, you like to work with the crystals. Ooh, ooh. And then they couldn't, you know, they, they want to dish it out. But then I want to talk to them about their religious beliefs and who they claim to be a prophet of God and all the nasty shit. And they're like, oh, they run away and they don't want to hear it. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, I mean, it's something like this. Okay. A best friend. Uh, but I've learned that exercise is one of the best ways to actually transmute the energy of the Mars, okay? Because you need to move through it. Even if you need to go do some bow and arrow at target practice, okay? Or you take some, there's very something very cathartic about even breaking shit, you know what I mean? Um, so smashing things up. I know that, but you do it in a safe, healthy manner, you know? And it's, don't break other people's things. I'm talking about like if maybe you have some old dishes or something or and you're like, all right, or something they gave you, okay? And uh, or even one of the healing things that worked for me with with a whole different dynamic of humans, because um, I really had to hold myself back a lot of times, uh, different levels of extreme uh, anger, vengeance. But uh, it was like, and it was actually a, one of the therapies uh, that I did in uh, Sedona in Arizona. And, you know, Sequoia is his name, his, his special name. And it was like, well, why don't you just pick up that rock and you see that other rock? And he's like, okay, express like how you feel and smash those rocks together. And I was like, woohoo! <laughs> so... You can still express, and I know that people might think, oh my gosh, you're wishing bad. No, um, I, I'm not hurting that human being, but I feel anger towards them. And I am I need to release it in the healthiest way possible without actually hurting anyone. 
You know what I mean? Um, so this may be a big test of holding yourself back, but gaining your own strength, okay? And you do deserve to live a life worthy of luxury. I'm just saying, this Taurus energy seems as though they don't. They don't feel worthy. Uh, and it, it's because of their finances. And maybe they've broken a lot of laws uh, and, and things. And they've been in a very greedy mentality. Because I also know another, another person like this who was never giving. Like, uh, and even when they were in an abundant life. And then they hit rock bottom. And they still would not take accountability. So, <clears throat> that's their problem. Not yours. It's for their spiritual growth. They can choose to deny it and learn ne better life, better luck next life, I guess. But I did my thing and I'm working on my spiritual growth and, uh, you know, and sharing the wisdom with you guys as well as, you know, the people that I do feel uh, actual compassion, right? All right, that is number one. We're already one hour and 10 in. I'm just going to clear this up really quick. Set these off to the side and we're going to move on to pumpkin number two. All right. Thank you, pumpkin number one. Thank you, purple pumpkins. You're welcome to continue and listen all the way through and see if this message resonates for you. Um, but if not, thank you all so much and come back around and check out your rising sign, moon sign readings uh, for whatever time of the season it is. November's message is coming up soon. Thank you. All right, here we go. One ten fifty five and pumpkin number two, the orange pumpkin. If you chose this orange pumpkin, we're jumping into your cards right now. Uh, just finished up pumpkin number one. Uh, and if you're listening all the way through, hello, hello, let's continue. Let's start. This has been interesting. Okay. Ah, we have a watcher. Invisibility, authenticity. Well, hello. This could be sensing and feeling somebody watching you. I always feel like somebody watching me. And invisibility and being your true authentic self. Hmm. Someone could be in the shadows, cloaking themselves. All right, that's the first card. We're also going to get, ooh, obsidian protection. Okay, the 19th. They could be 19. They could be a Capricorn. Um, this came through with Libra's energy. I have the rainbow obsidian over here for protection. Someone needing protection. Okay, let's make sure you can still see the cards. Put them up there a little far. I feel like this came through with the Gemini's. And then we have Cleopatra. I see 1903. Something, uh, wow. So we might be jumping into some past energy. This is also about your feminine energy protection maybe someone is young 19 okay or one nine capricorn uh i'm gonna pull your cards out first these don't normally come in reversals but i will keep it that i'm seeing 303 and 33 so someone could be once again 33 i see 10 6 wow three see look at all the threes there so maybe if you're watching this one, how interesting is this? We'll see what your angel number, or, or maybe the third one will also give you further cl clarification and guidance. And you're welcome to watch all the way through or come back around, you know, and see how the message might resonate for anybody, right? Um, 1903, wow. You know, I like to talk about past life stuff and looking into the history. I don't know. Maybe there's something about 1903 that happened. Someone could also be 33. That's the lucky shirt. This is talking about how you can feel more feminine. Okay, I'm going to keep it in reverse. 10-3. I, I, I mean, we got 30303 and 99999. Wow, so the nines are spotlighted. So 333 three, three is a nine as well. Sometimes 19 can be a, a karmic number, but this is also about protection, okay? Maybe you need to cloak yourself. That Maybe you're sensing ghosts even or feeling that. Maybe someone is trying to stay in the shadows. and be, But this is also be, being your authentic self. You're, they came from 1903, okay, guys? You got a ghost from 1903. Oh, we also have Lucky Shirt, Cleopatra. 
love, peace, hope, and optimism, transferring responsibilities to others, progress, and creativity. You may be receiving information from an ancestor, pass on loved one, right? Uh, this is also transferring responsibilities to others. Um, a 30-year-old or a 33. Wow. Something when you were 33, that's a master number. Then we have the 999. And these don't read reversals either. 9999. Lessons learned. Yes. Culmination. Completion. Results. Benefits. Reflection. And that completion. Wow. And nine is such a magic number, guys. Because... <laughs> you know, we could even have nine, 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 nine. <laughs> they, they, it all adds, it, it, it breaks to nine. Nines always end up with nine because you got 18, 18, one, eight, nine, 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 nine. It's like this never ending, like magic number nine. Oh, this is a favorite number. You're seeing a lot of nines over 33. Take stock of your accomplishments and how you arrived at them. This is a reminder to maintain optimism and drive toward your goals. Maintain your momentum and know that the powers of heaven have your back. You made it and the reward goes to you. So if you believe in the past life stuff, well, if you don't, I don't know why you're talking. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but... Um, you're, you're free to do and believe whatever you, you choose to, uh, wow. But I'm just seeing like, you may have ancestors or someone coming in to this divine wisdom. It won't sit flat. I'm seeing a completion once again. Now we're jumping into tarot. Ooh. And in this tarot, well, I guess it was in the other one too. Uh, two of castles in reverse. So this is two of pentacles in reverse and ace of crypts. Oh my goodness, this is a good one, you guys. Oh, pumpkin. I'm getting, I'm getting, I, I can feel, like feel the chills. I feel it. Oh, I'm getting the chills all over. You see, I got the goosebumps, all this. Oh, there's a dog or something. What? So this is, to me, this is knowing exactly where to plant your seed, okay? Uh, you understand to where you're going to invest your money, your time. Um, sometimes this is about multitasking, you know, upright. It can be juggling, multitasking finances. But this is knowing exactly where you want to spend. 1920, 192. I see 2-1, 21, 3-1, Ace of Crips. Wow, so this is love energy. How weird is this? It's like open, and then we have some Cleopatra. So maybe maybe you you need to get some obsidian. There's also rainbow obsidian. Maybe there's something like that. And then you have three of cups. Wow. So this is a re reinvigorating love, even self love, feminine energy, Cleopatra, like Cleopatra. And Joan of Art, something like that. Why won't that, it's bugging me because it won't sit flat. Because my, over this time, this, my, my thing down here has gotten a little wrinkly, but it's fine. A wrinkle in time, huh? We have three of cups. Oh my gosh, the flying ace. There's like, hero. You completed something. And now you completed this. And now you're, you're moving to the next level. Um, there could be a re a party, a celebration, wear your lucky shirt, right? Maybe you're celebrating a completion of a lesson learned, even a graduation of something. This could even be just working on your own, you know, self-love, uh, the feminine energy. This is asking you how to, maybe you're dressing up in something, you know what I mean? Like, she's also wearing the white robe, the white cloak, talks about your lucky shirt, pursue your goals. Maybe you're hoping for a party. This is a celebration of a completion. Wow. A party. Maybe it's about Halloween. These are timeless, though. And But then we have the flying ace and the author. Maybe a new book. The flying ace is like the hero. Snoopy. All right. And we've got the Peanuts Gang inspiration here. Um, I do have the author in reverse, but these don't read reversals. 
Maybe that's who's been watching you. Snoopy, the famous world author. Maybe this is about writing a book or just writing things down. Even, um, you don't even have to be that, you know, it's not, even if you're not publishing Snoopy, the world famous author. Ha, <laughs> okay. Authenticity. Oh my goodness. So let's look at the numbers too. Um, 21, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 13. Maybe there's a little Aquarian energy. So, wow, uh, now we're going to pull the tarot. This is going to be, uh, what's the word for it that I'm thinking of? Clarification, potentially. And like I said, guys, I didn't look at any of these. I'm unveiling this, and it's a mystery to me, and I'm just reading it for you. These I enjoy doing these ones. They're a little more challenging, a little tricky. Uh, and it's been such a long time. I haven't been doing these pick a cards or uh, pick a pile for a while. Um, and like I said, you can check I, I, in the comments is where I will timestamp. I do have a few more set up at this point, And maybe they're already uploaded when you're getting this because they're timeless. But um, uh, I'm the fortune cookies i haven't unveiled them yet but i know i do have some relationship messages and some sacred geometry in those ones i don't know why i'm telling you that at this point but maybe you're finding a, a new book or something that you know you want to learn about or uh, authenticity being i'm also getting a sense of being a ghost writer do you know what i mean like uh or the ghost writer a lot of people a lot of authors their pen name like sir bacon <laughs> okay we have 10 of wands in reverse. So this is a heavy burst. So someone I've been doing a ton of work. I feel like you've been working really hard for some type of, you know, uh, some goal or for understanding protection. Uh, but this is finally laying that heavy burden, burden down. I said heavy birdie. I also see 1910, 210. So maybe there's some Aquarian energy or those are spotlighted. No longer feeling like, so So you've done all of this work and now it's time for a celebration, right? Um, maybe, um, wow. So no longer feeling, you know, and where you're going to invest your time, your money. And maybe it's about a book or maybe you brainstorm or an author. Ten of Wands. Ooh, I see Six of Cups though in reverse. So maybe you've been doing a lot of healing regarding PTSD or trauma or past life, understanding even some past life stuff. Um, I feel like that's what it is. It's felt like this heavy burden. Um, maybe you've been feeling like there was something stalking you, watching you, um, cloaked in the darkness and working with obsidian. And maybe they had a weird obsession even. We do have six of cups in reverse, 10, six. So maybe there's Libra energy, um, 31, three, one, or 36, three, six, page of pentacles in reverse, right? Okay, so with clarification of this, I'm seeing maybe this is really focused on self-love, right? Reinvigorating love, a reconciliation. Maybe you've been working on some deep, traumatic past lives, okay? Um or some trauma of this life even this is something someone this is even someone you've known for a very long time maybe you've been very attached you know they could have been part of your growing up your childhood um or it's something a very deep uh, and it would feel very karmic because it it, it hurts it feels uh, trauma so sometimes when we you got to understand when working with some of this stuff um working with past life stuff that's where we're trying to heal is trauma from past lives this isn't always easy work some of some of us have done bad things and i'm all some of us uh, <laughs> some of you have done bad things in past lives <laughs> no or other people we never want to think that we were the ones who did the bad right mm. No, we didn't do some dark magic in past lives and then realize the error in our ways. No, but also understanding that other people, um, it maybe it, this is definitely a weird karmic thing from childhood. So it's either this this childhood that you've been healing, you've you've learned the lesson, you learned the lesson, 
I do see it, it has to do with uh, children potentially or your childhood, your innocence or with children. Um, I'm seeing wanting to celebrate, right? But I'm also seeing someone not having any finance. You know, Page of Pentacles is someone not coming in with an offer. There's stagnancy. That's maybe the completion of this. So there is still someone, and I will get a little bit of stuff. Being thankful and grateful. Maybe this is the person watching. Huh. Hmm. Okay, so now I have some uh, Doreen Virtue, uh, beautiful unicorn messages. And the first one says to be thankful. Think about the people and things you feel grateful for. That's what to focus on. Look, she's loving her kitty cat and being thankful that you're protected, that you've overcome all of this. You co it's completed now. Maybe someone was really weird with about feminism or feminism or <laughs> their feminine femininity uh, or as all maybe there's something deep with uh, Egyptian because we got Cleopatra. It's okay to be different. You don't need to be like everyone else. You're perfect just as you are. Okay. Right. When we're when you do this type of work, you can't. That you're usually not in a circle of a bunch of people who are aware and awake and doing it too. Okay. You're <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Oh, what is the word I thought? So you're the rebel badass of the family, the black sheep, right? It doesn't follow all the rules of everything. And uh, you're the one like wake, helping wake people up about this. They, um, you know, and uh, helping. But you had to do the healing on yourself first. Um, a grandparent's coming through for you. Okay, if you're the grandchild, you're having a reunion or a celebration. Maybe there's a, there's a lucky shirt that your grandfather, or it says a grandparent. So it could be grandmother, grandfather. So you have a special bond with your grandparent here. They're coming through. Look, there's a reconciliation. Maybe you're celebrating with them. You have a special bond with a grandparent that can never be broken. Pegasus, and, and if they have passed, I mean, they're coming through. It's 1903. I don't even know. That seems real, real old. I'm thinking like 1920s, maybe, but <laughs> 1930. Um, 99, maybe they live to be 99 or something. I don't even know. Or 33, and then you were 99. They were 99 when you were 33. Something, I don't know. It can be anything like that. That's so beautiful. You're having this celebration or reunion, you know, celebration of life. Or literally, they're here, you know, and you're going to celebrate and party with them. I'm on party. Wow. Maybe because maybe you had some trauma with your own parents, okay? Right? Maybe they weren't there for you. Maybe there was trauma there. Maybe they were. And so you lived with your grandparents or something. That, you know, and I get it. Sometimes it really depends on... That's what I'm seeing here. Flying ace. And you got the pegasus. A double pegasus. And then the owl. So much air. You've started something important. Now it's time to complete it. Finish what you started. This flying ace. So you learned this lesson. A completion. And I'm seeing that you finish what you started. Maybe you started writing a book. Okay? Or something like this. I'm going to say this. I don't want to cover up the flying ice because we are going to read that. And then the final one is wise seeing and wise action. So this is even uh, receiving information. This is getting wise counsel, maybe from a grandparent to help you take their sayings, finish what you started. That's the completion, the culmination. And that's, that's the final uh, book or the final book, <laughs> the final Look, Snoopy. Maybe they're an Aries or a Virgo. I don't know. Don't have to be any of those signs. Maybe someone's only 19 and you have a really uh, special bond with a grandparent. All right, I'm going to read out of the book now for pile number two in the, the orange pumpkin. All right, so we're going to start with obsidian. 
and then Cleopatra. Actually, I'm gonna start with Cleopatra first. Now I came in reverse, so maybe someone's a little unsure with this. Okay, I, I do also tell you what I see now. Uh, maybe Gemini or uh, Aquarius, no, Pisces, 317, maybe someone could be 17, 17, or 19, even Capricorn. Take it how it resonates, guys. I'm getting a bit of Pisces, Virgo, Capricorn, all different signs. I'm just going to throw them out there as I see it. My feminine energy makes me strong. Cleopatra was known for her cleverness, beauty, and intelligence. She was well-educated and is believed to have spoken a dozen different languages. So very, uh, very wise, linguistics, right? Maybe it's something like that. Connections were also made between Cleopatra and the goddess Isis during the time of ancient Egypt. Cleopatra is an embodiment of divine feminine energy and the power that comes with that. There is feminine energy within each of us. It can be seen in the concept of yin and yang and countless others. The power that lies with divine femininity is graceful, beautiful, nurturing, and compassionate. Cleopatra reminds you not to let others underestimate you or the power of the divine feminine. Practice embodying the goddess within you when you're searching for an extra boost of confidence. And it's okay to be different. How could I have fun exploring the, my divine feminine energy and inner goddess? That's your question there, okay? And then with obsidian, we have the 19. And this one came through with Libra, I know. I am shielded from negativity. Wow, so you are being shielded even from some invisibility or this invisibility, there's a cloaking over you. This can also mention that you actually sense the spirits or sense that you're being watched, watched over. For some of you, it's a passed on loved one watching over, right? Uh, you have this bond with a grandparent that can never be broken. So they're very much part of your soul team of um, love and I was even like there's grandpa there's nana there's uh whomever um maybe there are people that you, you've gotten wise counsel from or you're you're trying maybe if they're not here anymore you know they're they're trying to help give you that divine guidance as well and I and I do realize sometimes we don't have happy relationships with so this is definitely someone that has always been your support and your love. You know, they've given you compassion and love and strength and confidence. And I was very, I, I'm very grateful. Uh, I I had a very supportive grandparents for the most part, you know. Um, they could be a little harsh sometimes. And then I had others that I never knew or it was more distant. But um so I'm lucky for that. I had to live, I lived with mine. So maybe this is even, you know, I'm going to take all of these if it resonates for me too. <laughs> um, but that's part of the thing. Uh, the flying ace this is the hero. Finish what you started. Maybe it's about writing something or being an author. Maybe you've had a desire to do this. And regardless, even if you're not, uh, you know, uh, becoming uh, published. Hmm. My grandma would always be like, you need to write your life story. She always felt that was so important. Everyone has a story. Biography or something or what you've been through or reading theirs. Wow. Okay, so you are shielded from ne negativity. Dark as the night, obsidian's black sheen can act as a protective barrier between you and negativity. This could also be uh, Aries, Sagittarius. 34 is there too. I'm getting 10-7, Libra, 107 potentially as well. Capricorn, um, Pisces, Aries as well. Um Okay, any of those signs I'm kind of is kind of what's coming through with this protection. Okay, maybe they've been watching over you since you were nineteen or something, or even I don't know. I mean, I'm like I don't know. It is what it is. Whatever. Hmm. This stone can also help to ease stress and encourage growth. At the end of a long day, thinking about tuning into your spiritual practice may be the last thing on your mind. 
However, if you carry too much baggage from one day to the next, you'll eventually become too weighed down to continue. You are being reminded of the importance of releasing the activities of the previous day and cleanse yourself of any negativity that you could carry through into the next. Clear your space and keep obsidian by your side to help absorb any straggling negative energies so you can feel ready to embrace a whole new day. And even maybe just writing in your journal. What are a few easy ways for me to unpack at the end of the day about being thankful? Think about the people and things you're grateful for, for what happened that day. Look at that in the 10 of wands underneath there. That's exactly the same thing. If you knowing exactly where to spend your money on, you know, or plant your seeds, <laughs> uh, your financials. Because we, we all have money. We, I mean, well, well, we all need it as well. And we all do have capability of having it in our life. Um, maybe it is about writing or just a journal or a book or something like that even. Uh, I'm seeing that as the, what's being spoken down this. Being thankful. And also understanding it's okay to be different. Maybe you, this is something you do, right? And working on self-love. There's new love, new love being invigorated after a, a time of really feeling, uh, going through a lot of traumatic stuff as a child or in your childhood or working on um, the past life regression stuff or, you know what I mean, uh, shamanism even of, of healing deep uh, trauma uh, from childhood or from per, past lives, you know? And then we have this celebration and a reconciliation. Maybe you were like, I mean, maybe someone stopped doing something because Page of Pentacles in reverse is even a child energy. Usually it is about creating or making something. And maybe they said you stopped doing it and you need to finish what you completed. It has something to do. Maybe you're making a shirt or it's something about that. I don't know. Or you have a special shirt. You, your ability to communicate is improving at this time, which will make it easier for you to interact with the broad spectrum of individuals. Creativity. Whatever it is you've been working on. Grandparents saying, maybe they taught you about sewing or stuff like this. I don't even know. Or, or writing. That's what I'm seeing. Maybe there's even something about flying. I don't know. The flying aces. Snoopy. Finish what you started. That's what they're telling you. It looks like you you have learned the lesson. And the reward goes to you. So that's interesting because it's even saying to finish. So if you, if you haven't, uh, if there is something that still needs to be completed, that's what they're saying to do. Um, you, there's no big rush in it, though. With this owl energy, the wise seeing and wise action, that is doing it the right way. You know, taking your time at it, uh, maybe even seeking counsel from someone else about about something, getting criticism, constructive criticism. Maybe if you're if you're a writer or something like that, maybe you're hitting like a, uh, you know, like a a roadblock or just a writer's block or something like that. And this is also writing things. Maybe you stopped doing this. I totally did. <laughs> Oh, man okay this one's pretty cool though all right so we're gonna go to the peanuts inspiration i'm gonna get the ace for you first the flying ace let's see where's flying ace 39 the nines again oh i just saw a violet here okay uh i'm like oh Someone might have been kind of being rude or mean. 39 or 29 could be ages as well, right? That's so why I say 29. 27. If you find yourself with this card, do some reflecting on judgmental way you may have been viewing others as well. Um, however, maybe dealing with a younger person or an Aquarius. Uh, I mean, that's not the one. This one isn't in yours. However... Never mind. I'm going to keep this to myself um, at this point. Because I feel like, I, I, feel like I, I did see when I was pulling all the cards. I'm just going to give you a sneak peek 
into pile number three because when I was pulling out the cards, that one did flip over. So it's like the only one that I did see. So I know that that card is coming forth in the next pile. And I was like, oh, so it may not be you. It may be somebody else that's been overcritical or stop or you're being overcritical of yourself or judgmental. Okay, the flying ace. Where is it? I said 39. Ah, uh, the daydream. I feel like there's definitely maybe Pisces energy. Um, Gemini, Sagittarius. When sometimes all you can do to, is numb your mind, take a page from everyone's favorite beagle and let your thoughts wander. A simple red dog house. Maybe this is just about a, even created a creative story, you know? Fantasy even. Doesn't have to be a biography. And just, you know, something creative. A simple red dog house? Well, absolutely not. This is a World War I era. Sop will camel. Grab your helmet and goggles to imagine the alter ego you've always wanted and let that confidence flow. Let's take flight and feel free to dream. Maybe this has to do with doing dream journals, dream works, um, even this type of holotropic breath and sound or shamanistic uh, um, healing because this is in your your third eye in your you know and that's how some of this stuff is worked through and healed there's just certain things and I just got to be honest there's just certain things that the Bible and Jesus and dealing with a lot of Christian people and I'm not against it but it just doesn't they don't uh, they don't believe like it clearly it says in there that they believe in one life only and if so keep that in mind and so it's hard for them to even fathom that uh, there is deep healing that needs to be done on a spiritual level from multiple lives and sometimes I think that what it is is truly that whatever it is that they're you know what their belief system is what they they choose for their life is something that they're supposed to learn in this life all right and maybe you've already done it right and that's why it doesn't seem it's not real to you right I don't know how to explain not not that it's not real but it's not the one truth okay as so many are proclaiming um let's let's take flight maybe you're planning on going on a flight uh, you know traveling or something chase down your arch enemy fly across europe pursue your one true love wow finally beat that red baron the world is yours for the taking just close your eyes and you're cleared for takeoff oh maybe this is you have these dreams to travel places even okay okay wow we're going to snoopy the world famous author 43 okay 43. So when I give you numbers, they can be ages, even whatever. And seeing like 33, 39, 43, right? Maybe since 19. Uh -huh. Snoopy, the world famous author. It was a dark and stormy night. There's a writer within all of us. Why should we limit our daydreams and fantasies to just ourselves? Are they not so epic? They should be shared with an audience of massive proportions. Snoopy certainly thinks so and spends his time hard at work on his typewriter. See, and to me, guys, though, my grandma was the one. Remember, like, old school typewriters? Da, 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 da. Dude, they have this Lego set. Dude, now this, like, weird childhood stuff coming through. That is, like, a real moving typewriter. I love those adult Lego sets. They're so crazy cool. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking to you. Okay. But uh, this this old school typewriter. My grandma. That was my grandma. She was, this was, yeah. Maybe it's about hobbies as well. Hmm. Why should we limit, right? Okay, here we go. Snoopy certainly thinks so and spends his time hard at work on his typewriter, although his work may never hit the shelves. It's the fun he has writing and sharing stories with those around him that counts. Yeah, my grandma did a lot of that. Like she, 
uh, of, of typing and writing and but it's not like it's for sale anywhere. It's her story, her life story, her book. But she always loved doing those things. Typography. Hmm. Maybe you go to an antique store or something. Let me find something like this. We have one of these. The author and Snoopy shows us how fulfilling our hobbies can be, no matter the results. Especially when you have a wonderful friend like Woodstock by your side. Woodstock by your side. Okay, I'm going to read Invincibility here because that was our first card, right? Uh, and being your authentic self from the Halloween Oracle. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Where you at in here? 37. Wow. So we're a lot of got a lot of people in their 30s or something here. And then if early 40s, there was definitely some grandpa, grandparent, grandma. Depends on who it is. Maybe they're a great grandparent to you as well. Okay, 37. Here we go. Authenticity. Invisibility. Maybe that's the whole thing. It is about they're they're watching over you. I'm also getting this. The weirdest thing is I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting some Akashic tarot that's popping in my head about Hilarion. Okay, working with Hilarion. Uh, this is hilarious. I don't know Hilarion. Heart beating we sense but we do not see. They touch we chill. They come unseen. See, I got the chills, guys. There's the touch. Did you feel it too? I don't know why I did. Woo! I was said it again and now I feel it. Uh, you know that feeling you sometimes have when someone's watching you? You cannot see them, yet you have a distinct feeling that someone is there. All the hairs are up on the back of your neck uh, or on your arms, right? Or your legs. <laughs> you think you see something in the corner of your eye? But when you turn, there is nothing to be seen but empty air. This is the power of invisibility. The indirect fear and the covert threat of having to fight something that we cannot see. Mm. Humans have a strong visual sense, so it's no wonder that we are uneasy about things we cannot see. The ancients believed that all manner of creatures, mythical and physical, and of course the deities, could make themselves invisible at will. Hmm. When we consider that some animals are camouflaged so well by their coats or behaviors that sometimes even if we are looking straight at them, they're hard to see within their environment, that invisibility isn't such a far-fetched concept. In many cultures, the idea of beings who could watch us undetected were and still are common. Uh, jin jinns, angels, nature spirits, the fae, and even practitioners of magic such as witches are said to have the power to appear and disappear at will. But you have protection from negativity. In literature and in movies, okay, <coughs> invisibility becomes a common power. And we now have fictional superheroes that are invisible and even cloaks of invisibility. The concept of invisibility is a double-edged sword, though. Whilst it is a powerful tool to be able to gain information or to assist while no one sees, individuals using it are privy to information that may not be meant for them and it may be taken out of context or unethically. It is a power of manipulation and easily abused. The idea of hiding away and not being seen is also a big part of the dark side of this concept. We, all, we are all born to shine our light out into the world and to take our roles Hiding our talents, not expressing our true selves, or stealing others' ideas or work, and being and being someone else rather than your authentic self are all aspects to consider should this card appear in your reading, right? Okay, ooh, reading rainbow. Make sure you're not plagiarizing and someone being mimicking or copying. But I do see, you know what I mean? The world famous author. Um, I think that's a sad thing more than anything. I think that's sad when someone tries to sell someone else's creative work and claim it as their own. But I, I'm saying this is the, the different side of it, right? Um, that there are your, you know, your ancestors or are with you and you can sense it, right? 
even if you can't see it because we do have obsidian and there you are protected I, I see them as being protecting not um shady and that's the other thing is being they'll, they'll let you know when there is something or someone trying to come in hmm. right something about your lucky shirt <laughs> and then you got the the author and talked about that okay the final message is the owl and this is about wise action and wise seeing so it may it may also ask you to to uh you know Ask for wise counsel before you take action on something, right? About flying. Maybe it is about your imagination or it's about travel or whatever it might be. Okay, but I'm seeing a beautiful celebration, right? And good things. Good things. And being thankful. Okay, let's see. Owl. All right, these ones in alphabetical order. Hmm. that's why i always honor whoever the artist and author is as well and they do in the back of the book also say reference points and so because oftentimes we're sharing wisdom and information that we gained it from somebody else so we shouldn't claim it as our own right um that's just that's just in have being you know integrity and stuff okay it, it's great to get inspiration but uh yeah, so Al, 49, so maybe you've been seeing someone else, or I don't know, seeing someone, it's communicating with someone who's a little older, or 49, I don't know, it depends on your age, I'm also seeing the 12, maybe they're in Aries, <laughs> oh, 49, hello, wise seeing, wise action, silent winged and wise, all seeing creature of the night, show me the way, I will follow you in flight, in flight, take flight, finish what you started hmm. so you create so one lesson has been learned but there is still something and there are certain people that that's their thing they're they never really taught complete things um hmm okay owls have for thousands of years been part of folklore and have been considered a special or a sacred animal with their huge forward face facing eyes and otherworldly appearance they've been seen as both wise and as harbingers of the supernatural there are many hundreds of species of owls and almost all of them are nocturnal and carnivorous interestingly they all have specifically designed feathers that enable their flight and i've got the feather right there too hmm. i kind of feel like it's aries energy interesting maybe also cancer or sagittarian or pisces Hmm. The wisdom, the owl, to me, does make, is a lot of air quality, right? And wisdom, Athena, Greece. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Yeah, yeah. So their feathers, they, it enables them to fly silently at night, giving them an incredible hunting advantage, sort of like having stealth mode. Many deities were said to be able to change into owls, and perhaps the most famous was the Greek goddess Athena, who was famous for her strategy and intelligence. And to this very day, the capital city of Greece, Athens, has Athena's owl as its symbol. Should the hooting owl come looking for you this Halloween, it indicates the need for wise counsel or further information before you make a decision. Considered action is warranted. Think before you act emotionally and ensure you think strategically, not impulsively. Ah. All right, and that is the final message for this pile number two or orange pumpkin number two. <coughs> I'm going to clear this up and we're going to move on to the next one. Thank you all so very much. I hope this is uh, giving you guidance, clarification, whatever it is you needed. I think that they're lovely. I'm happy to share it with you all. You're welcome to listen to the next one. Number three, the green pumpkin or come back around during... Uh, November's monthly messages or check your rising sign, moon sign, sun signs for whatever time of the year it is when you're getting this. All right, here we go. 153. Oh, wow. These get long. See, that's why I don't know. Look at the green pumpkin. 15347. I probably time step it earlier than that. So if you jumped to pile number three in the green pumpkin, let's unveil it. All right. 
Oh, these ones have been so fun. I'm kind of sad it's going to be over, but it is what it is. And let's unveil it. The Graveyard. Unnecessary Fears of the Graveyard. Okay, that's your first message. So this is Overcoming Fear hmm, of the Graveyard. And uh, fear of death or even the eeriness of being around uh, in the graveyard. You know, the cemeteries. Okay, we're going to see. Ooh, Sarasvati, Sarah, the 11th. And then, okay, I can't pronounce this one correctly. Quizzle, quizzle. It sounds like a Z, right? Z quizzito, quizzito. Oh, sorry, y'all, I can't pronounce it right. 11, 12, maybe you guys are Scorpios. I see 11 again. The 11th being spotlighted or someone's 11. Okay, Sarasvati. And quizzaquittle, quizzaquittle. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Can you see these? Yeah. So overcoming is there's unnecessary fear to overcome the graveyard. Belief system. This is about your own belief system. Number 11 is your angel number. Go after what you want. Unique destiny, inspiration, talents, gifts, appreciation, and gratitude. You're blessed with talents and skills that make it easy for you to stand out from the crowd. Embrace what makes you different. That's your path to success. Your dreams will soon come true. 11, 12. Maybe this is, and then we've got 999. Nine, nine. Wow. Okay. So the nines are very spotlighted as well in the second video. So I'm just going to say that if you haven't, uh, if you just jumped here from the comments, maybe some of you are just flowing through and listening. It's getting a little long. I'm going to go quicker with this one <clears throat> when it gets, eh, you know, because uh, I've been sitting here doing this now for an hour, almost two hours. So it's time for a break and a drink after this one, guys. We have Queen of Cups there. Well, hello, Scorpios. <laughs> or are you dealing with them? Water sign. And if it's not you, then maybe this one isn't for you. Or you're dealing with a water sign person. The 999. Release. Balance. Finances. Success. Wealth. Cycles. What goes around, comes around. Your current circumstances are ending, so you might take advantage of better ones. If, you're, if you've experienced a significant change or conclusion, viewing your life as a series of cycles or chapters may be helpful. How can you make room for something new to emerge? 11, 9, 11, 12. Those are what's spotlighted the most. And we have Queen of Cups and we have the star in reverse though. Oh, someone feels like they've lost hope. Or they're, they're feeling unoptimistic about something. So if, so we have the Queen of Cups here upright. So this is someone... Uh, who should be very loving, compassionate, intuitive, right? Okay, I'm just going to see what we got. Then we have the star in reverse. So someone feels like they, they're not being seen or um, they're not feeling very optimistic or that things can be healed. Aquarian, let's see what this is. 12, 17. Maybe there's some Sagittarius energy too. doesn't have to be. And then we have nine of cups. Ooh, this is the one with Violet. Okay. Violet is being a little violent with her words. Or very, uh, maybe they're telling someone that this is, ugh. Let's see. I'm just going to pull the rest of the cards and we'll see. Because Violet's yelling. So check yourself or you wreck yourself. If Violet comes out, you may have been becoming over judgmental and critical. And you need to release something. Your current situation is ending so you can take advantage of better ones. Maybe you've been dealing with someone like this. Violet. Violet. I keep getting the... Something about like Willy Wonka and the Chaga Factory. And Violet. I want it now. Oh, yes. No, that's Veruca. Who's Violet turned Violet? No, the blueberry. I don't know. This is... Someone is getting exactly what they were wishing for. Wow. This is so weird. I'm going to have to get clarification. Writing a letter. Maybe there is a letter about the graveyard, about the fears. Writing a letter to someone. Writing it out, even saying thank you. Gratitude. Hmm. 
Maybe there's a letter. Oh my. Oh my. Someone could have been kicked out. It could have. Uh, maybe someone got written out of a will. I'm saying this is a little intense, guys. Just be clear. This is someone could have wrote a letter because they feel like things are hope and they've lost hope. You know what I'm talking about? What kind of letter? Because they've been very critical, or someone's been very. There may be some. Oh, there may be a sense of uh, sadness. Maybe someone spoke very rude to a person and. Um, it put them in a really bad funk. Uh, you know, they wrote something. Maybe this is even about an obituary or do you understand? I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to bring this up. But I'm just saying this mean stuff. Maybe it's releasing someone like this or no longer being this way. How can you make room for something new to emerge? Because Violet is rude. Right? She's very rude and mean. Quizzaquittle. Quiz I'm trying to say that right. Sarah Swati. Hmm. <coughs> okay. I'm seeing five of pentacles as well. Someone feels like they've had a huge loss. Maybe you, if you are this queen of cups energy, she is upright. So she's very intuitive and very compassionate, very loving. And this person may have been kicked out. Um, wow. So 11-5. Oh, they've lost passion. They've lost the spark. They, their prana is gone or their, you know, their, their, this person. And it doesn't have to be an Aquarius person. It just, whoever this is, they, they've, they feel, oh, an empress. Mm. It could be a mother or a wife or a grandmother or a boss lady. They, they might have done something. Mm. Ace of Wands in reverse, 5-1, also 12-1. 117 okay we have the someone got exactly what they were wishing for hmm. wow this completion letting go wow the one three eleven three now we have the star upright what in the world how can i get the star in both of these okay Someone else is being seen as a star. So this Queen of Cups potentially is trying to give hope and optimism for someone who, who feels like they've been kicked out or they've, they're in a huge loss. <laughs> How odd is this? 517 or 1117. So different. Maybe multiple different water signs. Okay, so I'm saying trying to be hopeful and optimistic. Maybe this is, and this is the whole thing, that it, it's for the best. Maybe something happened. Maybe there was a mother or a wife, the empress, that was very cruel and cutting and rude. Wow. When I read the Saraswati and the... Because I'm not sure what this one is. This one knew. This one is... This person very sad. They've lost their passion. They've lost their, their will to live. I'm sorry, but they've lost their will to live. Oh, boy. The sun in reverse. So we do have Leo Aquarius energy. But uh, they're so sad. They feel like they're in darkness. One nineteen, twelve nineteen. How weird is this? Then we have the Empress in reverse, and someone got exactly what they were wishing for and hoping for. Maybe they kicked this mother out or this wife or a boss. Huh. Nine three. Ninety three. Uh, then we have the three again, 33. This one got a little somber. Wow. 
Hmm. This is, um, someone wants to create and collaborate. This could be about work. This could be a boss lady. Someone's getting exactly, maybe the boss gets fired. <laughs> this is a feminine lady though, okay? I do keep gender specific, okay? <clears throat> I just feel like it gives more clarification for who you're dealing with, okay? Violet is rude though, right? Maybe someone was writing a letter that, and maybe someone wrote someone a really nasty letter though, because it was in reverse, but I'm seeing about creativity, collaborating and stuff. Hmm. Then we've got your unicorn messages. Definitely, yes. Hello and goodbye. Oh, wow. The strong, the answer to your question is a strong yes. And then you have this release about maybe you have different opposing belief systems and someone has been dominating and trying to control, right? You're blessed with talents and skills that make it easy for you to stand out from the crowd. Embrace what makes you different. This could be having issues with your own mother, okay? This could be a same-sex couple even, okay? You got to take it how it resonates. We have one person who is in optimism and joy, and we have another one who's who's feeling completely the opposite of it, and they're negative in their thinking, um, you have definitely yes about this violet and then no way. Hello and goodbye. Love from your parents. You'll soon see this change will make things better. We got mother goose there. Release. Your current circumstances are ending, so you might take advantage of better ones. If you're experiencing significant change or conclusion, viewing your life as a series of cycles or chapters may be helpful. How can you make room for something new to emerge? Hmm. Hello and goodbye. Wow. Okay, and then you have love from a parent. Love from your parents and believe in yourself. So four of these, no matter what, your mother and father love you as much as they can. Ah. So this is healing issues with your own parents. Um. And I always get that they do the best they can with what they know at that time. This is with the hope being hopeful. <clears throat> there was a time in my life where I was not talking to my mom. <laughs> and I got sent to live with, and both my parents, with, with my grandparents. So I understand this. Um, Definitely, yes, someone's been a little violent. Violet here has been a little harsh with her words. Okay, <clears throat> love from your parents. And you need to believe in yourself. See yourself doing well, and you will. Flying high. And then we have scrying. Now that came in reverse, your intuition, trusting your intuition. Okay, I'm going to just set this here. So there is something ending and it maybe you guys it's you need to find your own belief system right and believe in yourself i'm getting this also this thing of like <clears throat> you know the unicorn like well if you just believe in yourself even though nobody else believes in you hmm. so this is the only leo's the only one that got this uh in the uh monthlies for october I'm going to start with the spirit allies. This one's a little different, but there is a definite yes that there is an ending or release of something because you have also hello and goodbye and love from your parents, believing in yourself, your own belief system. There's a change even with that. Wow, Scorpio and the star. <clears throat> so this person is optimistic, shining bright, being compassionate and loving, okay? Okay. Maybe sometimes it is, you know, um, so if we have issues with our parents, our, our biologicals or what are, you know, and I, um, sometimes another person will come in and also be able to uh, be like a, a parent figure, a mother figure, of, you know, fairy godmother. <laughs> um, wow. Okay. <clears throat> Let's begin. 
with Sarasvati. And love and 12, those go right in flow. And I do shuffle these all, you know, very much. And then I let them fly out upside down. So I don't know. The only one I did get a sneak peek is I saw Violet there. And I knew that that was someone being judgmental or harsh. Hmm. About this Empress in reverse. Hmm. Or that's the Empress in reverse being that way okay okay let's see a lot of the goddess energies came through with these and not there was no crystal well no there was obsidian i was like so excited i mean I, there was only three piles so my pumpkins are so cute though i love them i'm like i love them my little pumpkins understand Okay, <clears throat> number one, here we go. 11.25 even, 11.12, okay? So this could be done with Sag... I was getting a bit of Sagittarius and Scorpio and Leo and Aquarius energy. That's what's pulling with this, okay? Uh, if you have a different thing in your chart, then uh, that's okay. This is just the energy I'm pulling for it, okay? Um, the words I speak shape my reality. Ooh. Saraswati is the Hindu goddess of knowledge, art, and learning. Her four arms symbolize a variety of things, including her presence, both in the physical and spiritual worlds. The instrument that she is often depicted with is a string instrument known as the Veena. Veena. As the goddess associated with speech, Saraswati calls attention to how powerful our words can be. Okay. Oh, the power of life and death in your tongue. Wow. <clears throat> okay. And maybe it was just a mother that was being that way. That's kind of what I'm seeing. Or a boss or something. When we get to the scrying, I'm going to bring this over. Okay. And we're going to take a little look into the eclipse. This is something that's being released and let go of. It is 2.12 to 11 on the clock. I'm going to set it here. And then you can see this is about trusting your intuition. Right? All right. As I continue this. So this is about the words. Unnecessary fear of the graveyard. Someone could have actually said something about wanting to harm themselves or wishing someone else would, you know, be gone. Mm -hmm. And so that's the thing. I'm seeing someone got exactly what they wished for. And it was this mother or this wife or this empress being gone and leaving. Okay. This one, this one's. Yeah. As the goddess associated with speech, right? Sarah Swati calls attention to how powerful our words can be. Our thoughts become words and there is magic to be harnessed in both. Spend time being conscious of your thoughts and when you speak aloud, tuning into the vibration and tone of your expressions. Next time there's something important you want to express, take a few minutes to go within. Write it down first, even. You had a letter. I'm just saying they might have given you a... Mm. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And find the right frequency and vibration before you speak. Know that you're creating your reality through your thoughts and your actions, your words and actions. Let Sarah Swati act as a reassuring reminder that you can speak magic into your life. And underneath there, the love of your parents, no matter what, your mother and father love you as much as they can. All right, we have the star. Maybe someone kicks someone out. Or they got kicked out, right? They've had a huge loss. But we also have Queen of Cups upright, being very compassionate, very understanding, very intuitive, and knowing how to, to, to understand that. Like looking up to the stars, being hopeful, being optimistic, okay? Maybe this is a person who is, is, is in the spotlight, who is shining, all right. And then over here, we have someone very unhappy, 
very sad, very unoptimistic. They don't believe in themselves. You need to see yourself doing well and you will. So if this is you feeling that way, there's your, there's your sign. Okay. Believe in yourself. So if someone's been cutting you down, look at, there is a companionship here. There is a child and, and parent. And this is actually a child. Now, <laughs> let me just say as a parent, if your child never told you that they hate you <laughs> and flipped you off, then I don't think you're being a parent. You might be being their friend there. Uh, I don't know. There's a certain time when, when you put boundaries up and you say no, you know, Uh, no, I'm sorry. No, you can't do that. No, no. Oh, they hate that. But we also have definitely yes. The answer to your question is a strong yes. So whatever it is, you know, that you're uh, thinking of or dealing with, there is this release and letting go though. But it also says you will soon see that this change will make things better. Maybe there need, you need to have space. You know, the heart grows fonder. Hmm. There's a journey or a travel somewhere, right? <clears throat> All right, here we go. Right, and it's even saying, so we also had underneath there it was writing a letter. Writing a letter. So, so much about the communication and writing it down and think before you speak. Write it down as well. Clear your thoughts. Clear your head. And we all can be, we all can speak rude at some points. So this is about growth as well. Hmm. All right. So the journal prompt for you is to ask yourself, how can I be more conscious of my thoughts and words? And maybe you're dealing with an 11 year old, okay? Like a child or a 12 year old or a nine year old, young. I also see 25 and 11, seven. So a lot of Scorpionic with this. I, you know, I, it's pretty strong that this is a Scorpio feminine, okay? That's what I'm calling it. I'm not really sensing Pisces or a Cancer sign at all in this particular reading. So this is fairly specific. We also have Leo, which is the child energy. Doesn't, but it can be a Leo too. And then we have an Aquarian energy and Sagittarius. This, this is what I'm getting, okay? All right, now we're gonna go to, uh, I see beauty in everything. A quiz, quizquito, quizzle. <laughs> I can't say this one right, look up. I don't know. I should look it up. I, I'll just type this in my little thing and pronounce it. Zilquito. Zilquito. Quizquito. Okay. 1226. Okay. So it could be Capricorn energy um, as well as Sagittarius. Also Aquarius. 2625. Both of these. Oh, oh goodness. Oh, goodness. This one's a bit deep, guys. I see beauty in everything. Okay, pronounced. Okay, now here we got the pronoun. So chiquetzal. So chiquetzal. <laughs> it's totally wrong. Oh well. Okay. So chiquetzal. So chiquetzal. Is Aztec goddess of fertility and household art and is deeply connected to the natural world. She is often presented as a beautiful, youthful woman accompanied by a band of colorful birds and butterflies. She is also a patron saint of desire and sexual experiences. Oh, embodying the enjoyment of all the beautiful things this world has to offer. You are being called to connect to the beauty and wonder that surrounds you as the goddess of pleasure so Chiquetzo encourages you to explore what pleasure means and embrace your sensuality. 
dance and let your body move freely and adorn it in ways that feel comfortable, comfortable and vibrant to you. There's a difference. I'm just telling you, I don't understand some of that lacy bra shit and those fancy high heels and shit. That ain't comfortable. <laughs> you can't breathe or move in that tight ass shit. But you know, to each his own. Comfortable and vibrant. Hmm. So this isn't about just, this is about sensuality too. Not smutty, lusty. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'ams. Okay, that's, that's where I see a difference. This is about your sensuality and pleasure. Um, encourage yourself to stand out and experience the world through new lenses. You could also spend time outside and observe the colors of nature and how lively they may be. Your journal prompt asks you, to, what does pleasure mean to me? 26. Hmm. Okay, so that's where we begin. Now, like I said, Violet over here. We're going to go to Violet. Someone sees this even in their intuition, right? And something needs to be released. A conclusion. If you've experienced a significant change or conclusion, viewing your life as a series of cycles, right? This is a completion and ending. Uh, maybe... This is over dealing with this type of negativity even, okay? <clears throat> okay, let's see. Violet. Where are you, Violet? Because I saw this for a second in the second video, okay? I don't know if there's an interlinking with that or not, but maybe... If there's anyone quick to call Charlie Brown a blockhead, it's Violet. She keeps her hair in a practical and neat ponytail, which reflects her personality, and she expects others around her to be just as neat and orderly as she is. Quick-witted and short-tempered. Violet has no problem stating her opinions, even if they may come across as a bit hurtful. If you find yourself with this card, do some reflecting on the judgmental way you may be viewing others. Sometimes we think we know better than our friends, and make a point out of it. But just like Violet giving Charlie Brown a nice Valentine's Day card, it's never too late to make amends. Definitely, yes. Hmm. All right. And then we have writing a letter even. Maybe writing a letter. You'll soon see that this change will make things better. Hello and goodbye. And in this we have both Linus and Lucy. And this is a brother and sister dynamic. So it could have something to do with that as well. Okay. Writing a letter. Let me see which page number this one is. 63. 6-3. So it is Gemini energy. And I, I see that as also writing. <laughs> Someone could be that age even or born 6'3", but the Gemini energy is... Someone could also be a Virgo. Hmm. Uh, or that Sagittarian energy too. Let's see, 63 or 62. Yeah. Nowadays, writing a letter almost seems like a lost art. However, for our pals, it was the ultimate mode of communication where they were creating Valentines or Christmas cards. Crafting a letter was their ultimate way of showing someone they cared, even if they saw those people every day. You know, what's really interesting is uh, I just got, we, my husband and I, we just received a letter in the mail from like a thank you for some, you know, doing certain things, helping a person out. Um, which was unexpected. I didn't, but you know, um, because it's not something we, a lot of people do nowadays as much. Um, cause we have email and, you know, text message and all of that stuff. Hmm. So there's something about that. And maybe this is even if there's issues with communication or there's been, um, this upsettingness, 
than writing it in a letter. And sometimes I'll say even do that to express your true feelings, even if you don't send it to them, if someone has hurt you and then you're mad, you know. <laughs> and sometimes you need to like redo it, you know, because do a few different drafts of it because it might originally come off really rude. It might be honest, but rude. So find tact uh, in your communication. And this is about also, this is growth. It shows emotional and maturity. And I, I, I get it. Sometimes it's, it's easier said than done. And that's why it's about growth and maturity. Okay, putting pen to paper is the ultimate way to materialize what we are looking for. It allows us to write our thanks and appreciation as well as our requests from the universe or Santa Claus even, like Sally. Whatever the case may be, taking time to write down our hopes, our requests and gratitudes will always work out for the best, even 63 all right, so that's where we're starting with this, right? And then uh, we, we started with the graveyard. So there's this fear. And maybe it's the fear of like communication uh, or something could have happened, you know. Something literally could have happened Because of harsh words that, or 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 last words that were spoken, were um. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna go to the graveyard here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. The green pumpkin though is so cute. But you know, this is healing. This is to heal relationships. Maybe someone was was rude and said someone was really, <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe someone was, uh, I don't know. They just, this is all, this, uh, I can't remember how to say it. I'm all quizzical. <laughs> hey, that's, that's probably like a bad thing, but um, the sensuality, it's about what, uh, look, she has butterflies. And feeling beautiful and dancing and feeling comfortable and, and vibrant. Um, sensuality. It's okay. So especially with the feminine energy to maybe someone was, uh, this person wants someone to be perfect. And they're very judgmental. They're just immature. Thinking that everyone has to be a carbon copier. They're not like them. Having their hair all perfect and like violet. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, graveyard. 33, wow, and 34. The unnecessary fear, the stones they mark, the eternal resting place, yet the spirits they are walking, and they are ready for the chase. Today's modern graveyards are restful places, normally highly manicured and very well set out, whilst they can be places of profound sadness. Few are the creepy gothic places of old, yet they still hold an undercurrent of fear and seem frightening places. Due to countless stories of haunted graveyards, the thought of walking through cemeteries evokes fear in many of us. We imagine zombies and ghosts rising from the graves and hide bad spirits hiding out, waiting to harm us unsuspecting, <laughs> as unsuspecting living person who walks by. The idea of being at a graveyard after dark or worse at midnight is the stuff of dares and nightmares, but this isn't the way with every culture. On the Mexican Day of the Dead, whole families picnic on the graves of their loved ones who have passed. Children play upon the graves. People play music, drink wine, and share food all in the company of the dead. See, and for me, it was always weird. Like, I didn't want to walk over their bodies. I felt like there was weird disrespect. And I would always try and not be walking on them. I don't know, like, does that make sense? Um, I, that's just, um, cause there's a, there's a humbling, there's a respect for the dead. There's an honoring of their life. I don't have fear of it. Hmm. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> 
Graveyard dust is used as an ingredient in protective spells, not in curses. Pull this card, know that your fe you fear unnecessarily. Things are not always as they seem, and you can overcome your obstacles. The anxieties you have, although real, should be put aside before they haunt you long term. Instead, trust what you know, the correct next steps, and that you will act upon them. 34. Okay, and now we have this uh, scrying, right? And this is about intuition. 50 and 51. Soften your eyes. Begin the trance. The whole world are open. Begin the dance. Let's start this again. Okay, I'm just, this is just a snow globe, guys. It's just a snow globe. It's the eclipse snow globe. But it looks just like this crystal ball. So, hey. I'm going to leave it there for all who are watching. This is our final message. Thank you all so very much. Scrying is the divination technique of seeing unconscious images or images from the divine or supernatural appear upon or within a surface. People scry into a crystal ball, a black mirror, water, even a surface of ice. It is a very ancient technique and one traditionally enacted on Samhain, or Halloween. The keys to effective scrying are to be as relaxed as possible, minimizing possible distractions, softening your gaze, and allowing. The enemy of effective scrying is distraction, both from inside and out. Turn off the phone, electric lights, anywhere where you can see them, any music, and if you are scrying outdoors, take the time to settle into the environment and listen to all the noises so that your mind will not need to break your focus later. It's also vitally important to settle the mind as much as you can. And honestly, I look at this as something very similar to clearing your mind, the monkey mind. Hmm. If you regularly meditate, you may wish to use those techniques or otherwise you can simply shut your eyes and focus on slow breathing, slowing your breath. This is usually very effective. If you have a specific question for the scrying medium, state it up front. Then once you feel relaxed, turn your focus inwards. Imagine pulling your energy within you and then focus on the third eye point. So you also will be seeing it visualized inside your mind's eye. The chakra point in the center of the forehead, just above the eyebrows. Imagine opening it. Then gaze in a soft, unfocused way as your scrying surface. Simply allow images to form and observe what presents itself to you. Do not engage your rational mind. This is about receiving, not thinking. Should you pull the scrying card, I suggest you try it for starters. It also indicates that you may wish to develop your intuition further and not rely solely on the logical part of your mind for all the answers. True wisdom takes a balance of logic and imagination and intuition for true wisdom, right? Wow. And that is the final message. Thank you guys all so very much. I hope this is giving you guidance, clarification. Check out the my channel for your rising sign, moon sign, as well as sun sign readings for your monthlies, any other pick of cards you might be drawn to. And, uh, at this stage, this point, when I'm doing the reading, um, I'm going to be uploading uh, or moving forward to Scorpio season and doing their birthday messages. So if you are a Scorpio, look forward to that. That's coming up next. And if you're getting this at a different time zone, maybe something during Scorpio season spotlighted for November or October's energies to give you any guidance or clarification. I hope this has helped. Um <clears throat> It's all about healing things also and how we, 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 we're all human and we make mistakes and we grow and learn. Um, but something definitely being released. That is the completion of something. And you will soon see that this change will make things better. Right? Okay, thank you all so much. Bye-bye.